So one of the things that I'd like to encourage you guys to do is to actually consider the shortcuts that you're working with and possibly customizing them to your uh, comfort. In my case, I like to have everything accessible under one hand. So in this case, I don't mind the full shortcut for the video track, which is Control Shift Q. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add like three of these, uh, maybe four actually, Control Shift Q. But you know what? I don't like the fact that I have to right click and put text if I want to put in the text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the shortcut that I customized for it, which is Control-1, and you can see by right-clicking that it shows what the shortcut that I already that I assigned to it. And as you can see, Control-W is what I use for generated media. So if I go ahead in this track and decide to put in a uh, generated media, Control-W, and I put in a solid, make it black, uh, or, well, yeah, there we go. And uh, yeah, that makes things a lot faster. Now, if I want to nudge these up, well, typically you would have to go for the eight or two number on the num key. But because I like to keep everything under one hand, I went ahead and designated to Alt Q. And I'm going to lift this to Alt Q as well. Uh, so I really encourage you guys to seek out this route and by the way you can do this by going to the customized keyboard from the options menu and in my case uh, for the nudge uh, event uh, up and down this is where you'll find it uh, it was designated as num8 I, I designated it as alt a uh, and by the way, when there are spaces between words, you put in a dot instead of a space. So if you want nudge up, this is what you'll get, nudge up. One thing to add is that you got to pay attention to this part right here. So in the case of adding text, you don't want to be in the Explorer tab and then look for X and assign it because it's not really going to interact with the timeline. It's just going to be on an Explorer level. If you want to go and affect the timeline, it's uh, the global. And in this case, you will see my shortcut was placed here. And the same goes for uh, insert generated media, which is placed right here. So just pay attention to this bit uh, when you're trying to assign shortcut keys. One more thing that I would uh, like to point out is that uh, when you do highlight uh, any space where you want to put in text and instead of like putting in text like this and you're stretching and you see a bunch of loops, uh, you can highlight and simply uh, put the text in. It'll be one long text layer. Or of course you could do it my own way, which is going to be the control one, my preferred shortcut key. So this is how you customize shortcuts in Vegas and then some.